This is a video for David who writes, um, David writes to me and says, I am married to someone Japanese. For various reasons, I might need to move to Japan. Is it difficult to find work for an American in Japan? Well, nationality is, is not the point um, in terms of, uh, as you know, uh, as you, uh, in terms of getting a job here. The, the, point get, the, the key to getting a job here is having, if you're not Japanese, is having a skill that a native Japanese cannot readily offer. Um, the, the immigration law is set up in such a way that uh, really uh, they prefer to have skilled labor um, in order to receive a work visa. Now clearly that isn't always the case because, um, well maybe, maybe I shouldn't say they're unskilled, but uh, they have factory workers uh, that come from overseas to work in factories. I used to work in a ball bearing factory. I was an English teacher in a ball bearing factory where we were filled uh, most of the uh, floor workers were from uh, Southeast Asia. And I guess, I don't know, if it's, it's probably not fair to say that they're not skilled, but I, I think that there's a, some exclusions for for um, work in that case. So you might be able to get in, uh, if, in, in with that type of thing. But otherwise, you need to have something, a skill that's, uh, that the Japanese can't readily do themselves. That's why so many of us native English speakers are English teachers, because uh, we are um, eminently skilled at teaching our own language. Likewise for any German speakers, Italian speakers, Spanish speakers, or whatnot. Um, uh, because few, few Japanese can uh, have the native level proficiency to be able to offer that type of, of a service. Some do, like my wife. She, she could probably uh, pass at a fluent, at a native fluent level, but um, you know, you, there's, not, there's not enough of them around, so, so they hire people like us. So if you have that, can you Clearly, you've got that skill. If you're from America, you probably speak English as your first language, so you can probably uh, uh, come over and, and do that. Um, but you also have an, an inroad in fact that you're married to a Japanese national, which means you're uh, eligible to get a, a spousal visa. You can come over with your wife, um, enter the country with a spousal visa, and once that's cleared, you can basically do any job you want. Uh, and uh, you. Uh, the options will be limited, genuinely depending upon your language skills. My Japanese language skills are pretty poor, so my if, even though I have a spousal visa, my opportunities are, are, are quite limited due to my uh, my 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 severe severely limited language skills. Um, but that may be a boon for you in a way. Also, um, for example, my good friend Mully um, was an English teacher for several years. He couldn't speak Japanese. He decided he wanted to learn Japanese, so he got himself a job teaching um, uh, or not teaching. He got himself a job working in a factory and uh, was able to uh, learn the language in an environment where no one else spoke English very well and uh, that helped him out and he was able to do that. He had the spousal visa. So if you're coming from overseas, if you've got the spousal visa you, you have, and you're married to a Japanese, then basically uh, you'll find yourself having many opportunities, although the opportunities, unless they're English teacher, may not be as competitively paying as otherwise. If you have other skills, maybe if you're a computer professional or you have some training in something else, maybe you can offer that here as well. Sky may be open for you, though. The, 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 the sky may be the limit, as they say, depending on your skills and what you have to offer. And once you get the foot in the door, lots of opportunities should open up. Economy is tough over here now, just like anywhere else. Keep that in mind, but I think you'll be all right. Let me know if you have any more questions. I hope that I answered, I helped out with that. Another opportunity to consider with your wife is maybe open a language school. Uh, recently in Japan, there passed legislation uh, a few years back that was just implemented mandating fifth and sixth grade uh, English classes for students and my friends that are English teachers with privately held schools are telling me that business is doing quite well as a result. In addition, the competitive competition from China and South Korea and India is, is increasing the need by corporations to understand that their employees need to speak English, uh, which is emerging, truly is emerging as an inter international language. And that's those same schools are telling me that uh, they're getting a lot more adult uh, corporate customers, students coming in who need to have that training as well. So maybe that's another opportunity. I hope I've helped. Take care for now. I see my computer froze. I hope it's still recording. <laughs> see ya. Stop. Hey, stop. I don't know.